Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to the Great Big Card Swap. I'm so happy you are joining me tonight. I've got 48 amazing cards to share with you. Our theme this month in February was big and you guys delivered. There are some really awesome cards and some really big cards as well. I can't believe, um, <laughs> I can't believe one of the cards is literally 12 by 12. Um, let me mute my own, <laughs> my own video there. Um, oh my gosh, Kathy's card arrived. I just picked it up from the post office, um, this evening and wow, 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 wow. You aren't, you aren't going to believe it. <laughs> if you're joining for the first time, um, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. Uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, all that stuff, get your notifications going. We do the great big card swap videos um, on the second and the fourth Tuesday of the month, um, and everyone can send in cards, whether you're a demonstrator or a stamping enthusiast. Um, we, we love to see your cards, and you can use any products that you have, retired, not, stamping up, it doesn't matter. I just want you to use your stuff, make some cards, and share them with the world. That's what the card swap is all about. So, you make a card, you send it in, you get to see them all in these videos, and then I mix them up and everyone who sends a card gets them back. So that's how the Great Big Card Swap works. We have just a few rules. <laughs> make sure you don't write inside your card so that whoever gets it can send it on and share it with somebody else. And then I also ask you in to include a dollar to recover or to cover return postage and um, the envelope. If you're an international stamper, check out the video description for a PayPal button to cover international postage. And um, if you don't have a dollar at home, if you just don't have cash, then you can throw in a stamp or two in the envelope instead. That's fine. I don't want to, I don't want to leave anybody out. So if you don't have cash, um, just we'll figure it out. It's going to be just fine. Um, I think I covered everything. The themes for um, the upcoming months in March, the theme is something old and something Something new and I can't wait to see how you interpret that you can either use maybe the oldest stamp set that you have or the newest stamp set that you have or maybe combining old stuff and new stuff to create a card with the best of both worlds the theme for April is going to be three I didn't come up with anything clever three's company three's a charm um third time's a charm I guess that would be <laughs> the rule of thirds I don't know come up with with something to do with threes I'm thinking like three flowers or three circles or three something maybe three flaps or three panels or I don't know you'll come up with some awesome things that is the theme for April you can send your cards right now if you're sending for the month ahead just make sure to mark the envelope accordingly and we are still collecting birthday cards for Linda's dad so just make sure to mark your envelope Linda's dad celebrating over 100 years um in a few months so we're collecting some cards to forward on to him if you'd like to send them you can me send them to the same address sends your cards to julie davison p.o box 6164 champaign illinois 61826 oh all right let's get started thank you to everybody who sent in amazing cards to share we've got so many people who are watching live welcome and hello i see comments from heather and donna Diane and Janice, Gloria, Sherry, Mary, Eva. I'm so happy that you're all here. Um, if you are participating in a live chat, be sure to leave lots of encouraging comments for our swappers tonight. I know it always makes them feel so good to know that their cards are loved. So tell them what you like about the card. Share, um, share something fun. Say hello. Ask a question. Mary's saying, um, when you send cards in the return, is the return address yours or the card maker? The return address is mine. It's the PO box because if something happens and the card needs to be returned, it's coming back to me. So, um, Sometimes people put a little note inside their card with their address or their email address if they're interested in swapping cards and having a new like swap friend. And so if that's something that you're interested in, I highly recommend that you include that in your sticky note or your loose note um, inside your card. Um, and some of you do that. It's totally optional though. Like some of you just like to send the card and get the card. But if you're looking for a swap buddy, leave a note inside your card when you send it and then whoever gets it and will have that option to connect if they'd like to. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Diane says, hello from, it feels like spring, just kidding, mid-state Illinois for sure. I think it was like in the 70s today here in central Illinois, certainly not February weather. It uh, is kind of feeling like summertime and Anna is really, um, she's itching for some summer. She's been talking about it nonstop. She is my uh, 13 year old, the youngest of my four kids and she's just so ready Unfortunately, it's going to get a little bit colder. It's still going to be fairly warm, especially for February and almost March. Let's jump right in and get started with our cards tonight. I feel like I'm extra chatty and I'm sorry about that. And I'm also sorry about starting a little bit late tonight. Um, we just had everything going on, a band um, fundraiser dinner thing, an archery practice. My husband's out of town. Thomas had class, so it's just been a little extra hectic trying to run everyone where they need to go. Um, so thank you for your patience and I'm so glad that you're here, even though I know it is a little bit later. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, Palm Girl saying uh, a little echo. It sounds like other people are not having the same problem. So yeah, try closing YouTube. If you're watching on a phone, close the app, close your browser, um, and open it up again. Sometimes that helps. I hope it does for you. Our first card tonight comes from Veronica T. I love this big octopus or kraken. Um, so such a fun stamp here. Her note says um, she is the biggest stamp that she has. <laughs> I love it. I know this theme was kind of challenging for you guys with the big. The front stamps are all Tim Holtz and the inside is from Hobby Lobby. That's super fun. I love that. I think sometimes these themes can be a little challenging to think outside the box, maybe using stamps in ways that you didn't think about. So here's a big HB, which stands for happy birthday. This card comes from Belinda Bosch. She said she used the stamp sets monogram messages from Stampin' Up! and the happiest of birthdays. That's where the happy birthday comes from. And if you don't recognize it, it's because it usually says a little bit late, I think, at the bottom. Wishing you the happy happiest of birthdays. I love that little butterfly stamp on there too. Such fun. Those great colors. Perfect for March. I always think of March when I think of green, don't you? Oh, that's what we should have done. It should have been like green or something for March. Well, March is not. It's something new. Well, you can do green if you want, but, but the official theme is something old, something new. Uh, love this green card with a big HB for happy birthday. Thank you, Belinda, for sharing that. Um, you know, here's a big balloon for this little mouse. This one is from Leslie Van Metnitz, and she um, used the big balloon and the small mouse. Um, yes, definitely from the mischievous mice stamp set. I think that was a host stamp set a couple years ago, and then we got some fun designer paint paper. I recognize the patterns and I'm just can't think of the name of the paper pack. It was one of those big ones. Jumbo paper pack. I think it was a host um, a host set that you could get that had so much paper. Speaking of so much paper, one of the celebration items that you can get for free, which by the way ends tomorrow, not tomorrow, Thursday. What's today? Tuesday. The Delightfully Eclectic is one of those jumbo paper packs and it has 48 12 by 12 sheets in it and you can get it free with a $50 order during celebration. Make sure you get in your celebration orders by Thursday, February 29th. That's when it ends. And oh my gosh, there's literally just what now? 20, um, 24, 20, no, 48, 48 hours. What's today? Yeah, 48 hours. A little more, 50, <laughs> 54 hours, something like that. Our next card is from Keith. Uh, Wernicke or um, someone who used an address label that said Keith. <laughs> I love this using some of the, tr um, oh, the chic. What was it? The, um, I want to say tray chic, but that's, uh, I don't think that was it. Oh my gosh. There had, there, it was memories and more cards is what I'm going for. Memories and more cards with a um, bundle and stamp set um, that, uh, that went with it. If you guys think of it, let me know. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here. Such a beautiful card. Little card on the inside there. Everything beautiful starts with love. I love that. Some of the little stickers and elements come from that Memories and More card pack, which is retired now. And it is it is a four and a quarter by six and a quarter card. So we've got the, um, the envelope that comes with it. Thank you so much for including that. So very lovely. And this card very much is. I love that. Um, I know, Andrea, I cannot believe that that double pack is a $50 item. I thought for sure that it would be like, um, 
a level two item because it is normally $30. And so you can get that package, that $30 package of paper for free with a $50 order. Thank you, Susan. Season of Chic. Yes. And Andrea uh, got it too. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Sometimes our brain just doesn't doesn't make the connections. Our next card is from Pat Nimmo. I love this Waves um, waves of the Ocean, I think it is, this detailed die cut. We've got some in um, some gold, or not gold, silver foil, as well as then some of the distressed um, copper paper, and then also the stamped image underneath. So pretty. And what a, a perfect thing for a big card, a big wave. You're so totally awesome, as is this card. I love the simplicity. White on white with the layers there, but it just kind of really um, pops and looks so finished to have that on there. Well, something little but big are ladybugs. Oh my gosh, sometimes in these fake springs, we get these little ladybugs that just come out and they're all over the windows, right? This first card is from Sharon Meyer and she used the Biggest Wish stamp set. Um, biggest Wish, I don't, I think that's a different stamp set. Nope, never mind. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of a different one. Biggest wish, wishing you the happiest of birthdays with that fun little ladybug. And I love this designer paper too. So bright and cheery. What was the name of the ladybug stamp set? It had a coordinating punch. I don't think Kathy has it on her card either. Same stamp set. I put the cards together so you could see that cute little ladybug. And we've still got the ladybug punch in the catalog. Um... This card is from Kathy Triebenbach, a little big, about a five by seven here card. Um, loving the designer paper, the little torn edge, sponged. It's a good day with three giant ladybugs. See, three, this would be good for the April theme too. I love the stamping on the inside and the punching. All those images come from that ladybug stamp set. Um, and I'm sure one of you is gonna pop up and say the name of it right now for me. <laughs> You're always so good about that. Cute, cute, cute little ladybugs. Um, yes, it's going to drive me crazy. It's something, it's not little ladybug, is it? Well, as soon as I move the card, someone will say it. <laughs> Our next two cards are also big like this, four or five by seven. Hello, ladybug. Thank you, Andre. I knew it would happen as soon as I put the card aside. Our next big card comes from Jennifer Crabtree. Uh, this is so much fun. Have you guys seen these spinner cards? I made sure to wind it up before and I'll wind it back up and show you. Uh, but it has some thread in between the two layers. And so when you open it, it spins. Isn't that fun? So one side it says sending love on and the other side this special day. And then when you open it up, it has an extra layer in here. Can you believe this gorgeous card? Oh my gosh. Sending you love and joy on this special day. And then the little die cut here and the, the gold foil on these butterflies and the circle is just so fun. So if you give it a little wind and just kind of twist it like this, then whoever opens it, when they open, it will have that that spin to it. It's so fun. Um, I love these spinner cards. So if you ever want to make one, you're just going to sandwich your two circles between the twine and then um, you'll just put the twine in between the layers. Like this one has uh, another layer here on the inside with the die cut circle. So the, the twine is just sandwiched in between there. So fun. I love it, Jennifer. Thank you so much for sharing that. Here's another big card. This one from Nancy Bridges. And she's got all kinds of gorgeous elements on here, including some of the Flight and Airy designer paper. This is one of the celebration papers you can get for free during celebration for two more days. She used the Sending Love stamps and dies. And she says the Anna Griffin uh, Fancy French dies. Whoa, that must be what this one is. And this one here that is fancy oh my gosh I wouldn't have guessed that that was a die because it's so detailed this is the um the stamp set sending love from Stampin' Up so fun I love all the details on this card Nancy thank you so much for sharing that and such a big card too here are two other cards that use the same flight and airy designer paper um this one is from uh, Barbara McHouston, McHouston and she said she cased this one from Lisa Curcio and Mary I think that answers your question right there absolutely you can case cards from the great big card swap and you can send cards that you've cased I always say if 
if you um, get your inspiration um, from another card maker, you can include their name and give them give them some credit. And I always try to give that shout out um, in in the video and and share that. So um, yes, please case cards that you see tonight. That's why we're sharing. And um, and if you want to send cards in, it's okay if you send a card um, that you've cased. So here's one from uh, Barbara, and she says Lisa Curcio inspired her. I actually have a card tutorial for this. Um, this is a telescoping card. It's really kind of fun. So the idea is um, that you've got the, the circles um, and they're smaller and then you kind of pierce through um, where they connect and use something like the, the brad to hold it together. Now I have made this before with a snowman um, and so they kind of telescope out. But fun little fact, my YouTube channel was born when I created a telescoping card like this and I wanted to show like the motion of it. And so I did did just to, like it wasn't even a real video it was like a series of photographs to show the motion but I it was just like a 15 second video and so I posted that I created a YouTube channel so I could share that video quote unquote and um I wasn't really interested in doing video tutorials but after I saw that that little video had so many views it was like ridiculous like 50,000 views or something like that probably because it was so short but I was like um I think I need to do something more with this channel and that was many 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 years ago um it took me a little while to to get rolling on a regular basis but I do love this card it reminds me of those telescoping cards and I'll include the link to mine in the video um description so you can see that Barbara thank you so much for sharing it's such a fun card with big circles for our big theme um this month I just I think that's so much fun. And this flight and airy paper. Isn't it just so beautiful? Here's a card from Rosemary McDougall. And she created a little fun fold card with a big hello. And then I love this. It kind of pops out like this. I don't know what you would call that. I guess I'd just call it like a a pop out. Um, it's a big pop out too. Uh, lots of room to write, a little note. And then we've got that gorgeous designer paper in the background. Love, love, love that, Rosemary. Thank you so much. I love that it folds flat, too. Don't you love fun folds that fold flat? They fit in a regular envelope, and then you open it up, and there's kind of a fun surprise in there. I haven't seen one quite like that before, so so inspired. Thank you, Rosemary, for sharing that one. Our next card comes from Kathy Barnes, and this cute with the Hey Chuck stamp set. Oh, I just love that guy. I wasn't going to get him, and... Oh, I did anyway. How many times do you say that, right? Wishing you the happiest of birthdays on a giant deckled circle. Oh my gosh, so perfect for our big theme this month. I just love his little shorts. I guess that'd be his underwear, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, so fun. Here's another one with a different kind of bird. This one's from Deb Rupp, and she's using this gorgeous new uh, hummingbird from the Thoughtful, I think it's Thoughtful Expressions bundle in the mini catalog. It's got the best label dies in it. Uh, I I was going to get it just for the dies, but I did get the stamp set too. It's so fun. Just a little note to say hello. And then the daisies come from a different, um, a different set. We've got some other flowers here. So beautiful. May the dreams you hold dearest come true and the and the true kindness that you share come back to you. Oh my gosh, I love that sentiment. Um, let's see here. Deb says, Steams use thoughtful expressions and inspirational sketches and framed florets. That's a lot of stamps on there. The sentiments are from Notes of Nature and covered in sunshine retired. The base is embossed with a time-worn type embossing folder. I love that. Um, and what a great card. It folds out nice and big. In fact, I did a card kind of recently with the Winter Meadow. So I'll link up to that one if you're interested in learning how to create a card like this with similar measurements as Deb's card. Deb, thank you for the inspiration. This one is just so lovely. Our next card comes from Sue Hines. She used, um, what is this stamp set here? Good Feelings. I love that stamp set. The thank you here. And this gorgeous designer paper is the Softly Stippled Paper. This is another celebration freebie that you can choose for free with a $50 order during celebration for two more days. Uh, the very best trio punch. I was looking for the name of it. This is such a fun punch. Um, I always forget about it on my punch um, stack because it doesn't fit with the other punches. And so it's just sort of like 
I don't know, up at, up at the top and I always forget about it. But it's so fun to just punch the little corner and create your own sort of label punch. And you can do that on any size cardstock. So it's kind of a, a good punch to have to create some fun different shapes. So, so thank you so much for this fun card. I love the little flap in the front and the colors you chose are just beautiful. Pebbled Path and Pool Party with some um, black embossing there for the sentiment. Love it. Oh, the colors here are so pretty. This reminds me of the wild wheat color that I know everyone is like love it or hate it, but I kind of love it, especially with a white daisy on top. This one comes from Jennifer Olson. So beautiful. Forever grateful with the little foil tag and also the frame. It's just a lovely card. The big, bold flower with that gorgeous die cut. I just love the detail on that. So beautiful. Uh, oh, I love this guy. This is from Rose Staley, and she used the happy, uh, what is it, little piggy, little birthday piggy um, to create this cute little card with a big balloon to celebrate his special day. Uh, there were some coordinating dies. It was a year or two ago. We had some coordinating dies for the this birthday piggy, and it included the wagon, which was so, so cute, um, and also the little kerchief that's around him his neck. Now there is a brand new wagon um, bundle that's coming out for the March exclusives in just another week or so on March 5th. So watch for that. Love the scallops and the inside. It says this little piggy says happy birthday. So cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is such an amazing stamp. If you have this one, uh, it's an old one from Stampin' Up. It's called um, Swallowtail. I think this one's from Virginia Smith. And she stamped the Swallowtail on her envelope too. It was so fun to get that envelope um, in the mail. She's stamped this a couple times and cut out to kind of layer um, some of the butterfly on to um, Stampin' Dimensionals. I don't know how well you can see that dimension on camera but it really just kind of comes to life and pops out it's so beautiful um this designer paper i think it was called oh there's the dollar and a stamp um <laughs> i thought i opened all the cards uh, let's see here the um i love this inside too um so so she said she cased this one from allison sullivan and um what am I looking? Oh, the butterfly bijou. That's right, the designer paper. I was thinking butterfly kisses, um, but that is a different paper. So beautiful. Love, love it, love it. Go to greetings, sunny sentiments, sharing sweet thoughts, and limited edition. That's all the stamp sets that must be on the back. The handcrafted from the heart. And the measurements there, if you're interested, I'll pause just in case. Love that. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful card. So decorated nicely on the inside, Virginia. And thank you, too, for sending in an extra for me. That's such a treat. Our next card comes from Janet Casto. She says she was very um, challenged by the theme, but I think she nailed it here. She's got some of these die cut hellos that are nice and big. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I love this beautiful designer paper as well from the annual catalog, um, which the name is now escaping me. What is the name of this paper? It's so beautiful. Um, do I have a catalog handy? I do not. You guys know this paper, right? <laughs> Someone's going to say it. Um, and, the, and then this bundle is in the new mini catalog. I got to get this one out and use it. I keep saying I'm going to do it and then I get distracted with all the other amazing things and keep putting it off but we're gonna do it i promise we'll do something with this um awesome bundle with all the words our next two cards have hot air balloons so i thought i would share them together but they are two different stamp sets this first one is from gloria davis and she's got this gorgeous designer paper i can't tell if she sponged that it kind of looks like a handmade background there. So gorgeous. We've got some die cut um, clouds and then the basket and the string on the balloon. Rainbow of Happiness is the designer paper and the hot air balloon stamps and dies. Um, love that. Love card. Oh, <laughs> little note for a pen pal. Every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. I do believe that. So true. Um, such a great card. Thank you so much for sharing that, Gloria. And um, I knew someone was going to know it. Masterfully Made is the name of that designer paper. Thank you from the annual catalog. Our next card uses um, the hot air balloon and the lighter than air suite. This one's from Katie McLean. And she also used, I love that little, um, oh my gosh, um, that die. 
what's the name of that that die set, Katie? Oh, I always was talking about it being one of my favorites, and my brain is tired tonight. <laughs> so beautiful. I love these colors together. Fresh Freesia and Balmy Blue in case you're wanting to um, create a similar card at home. And this twine is part of that um, twine pack that comes in the lighter than air. Nested something. I Yes, it is nested something. I just want to like reach back and grab it because I have... <laughs> I have the dies right behind me. I'm sure of it. Da, 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 da. Here it is. Nested Essentials. That's what it is. Now, oh, and Susan. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. I just saw your comment now. Nested Essentials. That's such a good set of dies. It's got some different shapes in it. And this one is just fun and unique. And that's why I like it so much. Beautiful on the inside, little designer paper. Some of my favorite. I just love the spring patterns. In fact, same designer paper here, different stamp set. This one's from Carmen Melendez, and she used that beautiful new ice cream bundle. And this is such a big image, so it's so perfect for our big theme to have the giant ice cream cone there. Little happy birthday with the perennial postage dies. I think that's so fun on the side there. And I love how you can see that designer paper on the inside and the outside of the card. So gorgeous. Some glitter paper here that's from one of the online exclusives that came out in November. Um, a three glitter paper pack, but there's also another glitter paper pack that's coming out in March. So um, lots of fun things in those online exclusives. You got to be sure to check those out. Um, and they start on March 5th, or if you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order right now. And if you're joining as a demonstrator to get your free glass mat studio, well, you can choose those online exclusives in your starter kit. Our next card comes from Ann Hansen, and I did group these together because they all use the same greeting stamp set, which I thought was called The Biggest Wish, wasn't it? Biggest something? Um, this is a fun one. Oh, I don't, I've got, I've got to, I've got to undo it so you can see. This is so fun. It has a little um, fold out like this. So we've got happy, 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 happy birthday. Oh my gosh. How fun. Um, I'm just looking to see if Ann has a note in here about the stamp set. I recognize the candles as a celebration stamp set from a, a year or two ago. It had different shapes, like a circle and a square and a skinny little thing and the splatter. And so it makes perfect little candles. Um, I think this would be so fun to celebrate someone celebrating a big birthday um, because you can stamp out the number of candles and you can just have your card just go and go and go and go. Um, the colors here are so brilliant too. The Daffodil Delight with a little pop of red and um, the black and white is just so beautiful. What a fun card and thank you so much um, for sharing that and a long card um, in, a, in a big way. I think that's really great. Oh, love it. Our next card using the same steam set for the sentiment. This one comes from Jenny Oliver. Such great colors here. Bubble bath and berry burst. And then this tile background stamp. She's stamped in some different colors. So you've got both the bubble bath and the berry burst and sort of that faded shaded ombre and some of the light pink sheer ribbon. And those little sequins are so perfect for our cute little pink card. I love it, Jenny. Thank you so much for sharing this one. Same stamp set here. Just different designer paper. Totally different look with the blues and purples. Hello, hello, hello. This one is from Myrtle Thorn and she's got the hues of happiness um, stamp set. And yes, the biggest wish, um, the biggest wish stamp set, hues of happiness, retired um, designer paper. Love the little strip there too. And these colors, gorgeous grape and pool party. So fun together. I like those cool shades. Um, Vicki is asking about what stamp set the vertical happy birthday is from. And um, I cannot think of the name of it. It reminds me of a stamp set that had some um, other vertical, like um, there was like a flower and some other like design and they were all kind of longer stamps like this. Maybe this isn't the one I'm thinking of. Um, there's not a note, so I'm not sure. Um, and it, my brain isn't working tonight. So if anybody knows what stamp set this vertical happy is from, Carmen, if you're watching, leave a comment and let us know. Um, and I know once you say it, I will, I'll think of it. <laughs> uh, all right. Our next two cards come from um, Risa Zillion. And oh my gosh, I just love that. And this one from Samantha McKenna. 
um, if I'm remembering correctly, Samantha is Reese's granddaughter. And oh my gosh, these are just so gorgeous. Very technique-y cars. I'm going to read the note here um, from Risa. This is so, just so beautiful. I can't get over the texture on here. Um, all you need is a dose of vitamin C. That's great. She says the shell die cut out of the packaging from girls stretch pants. How clever is that? So she just kind of reused some packaging there. Um, and then she used the Ranger alcohol ink, um, on the background to create that gorgeous, um, design. It's so beautiful. And then put it back on top to die cut with a Sizzix emboss, um, and transfer set to, um, look like an embossing folder. That is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I would make such a mess with those inks, but gosh, it would be worth it. <laughs> this card from Samantha McKenna has a trifold. Oh my gosh, that holographic paper with the embossing folder is amazing. And this looks like um, a fun technique. It almost looks like embossing paste on the cardstock or on the die cut. I can't tell, but oh my gosh, gorgeousness. I just love it. I think you guys probably had a whole lot of fun um, creating these cards together. This one included two little tags, so I guess you can choose um, if you want to put one of those on there or how you want to use it. One says big hugs and the other says dream big. So you can decide how um, you might want to incorporate those into, um, into the card if you get it, maybe even both of them. Thank you for including those extra tags, so fun. Um, and the big words are perfect for, well, the big images, the butterfly and the shell, as well as the words big are just so perfect for our big theme this month. Beautiful cards, lady. Thanks so much for sharing them. I know someone's going to be so excited to get those. Our next card comes from Anne Link. Check out this fun fold. I just love that. We've got this sort of extended accordion out with a three by three. It's three by six scored at three um, card in the middle that sort of bridges them. Isn't that gorgeous? This designer paper um, with a mother of pearl. Can you see the shine on that? So fun. Thinking of you um, and then lots of room to write your message inside. What a fun card. So pretty. And these colors are my jam. Soft succulent. Now retired. A little Sahara sand in there. And Calypso coral. One of my all-time favorite colors from Stampin' Up. Just beautiful. How many of you have this uh, stargazing suite in the annual catalog? I love this one for its bright colors. But the space theme is one that I just don't have a lot of card making occasions for but I love that we have two cards that use this gorgeous designer paper and sweet because these cards really show off this amazing thing and what is bigger than outer space I mean how clever to use this sweet our first card comes from Melly Turner and I was trying to remember the name of this card because I've made one like this um, but I can't remember what it was called uh, Melly says that she cased this card from Julie um Dematteo, the Paper Pixie, episode 284. Um, and I feel like I just called it like a stand-up card or something. Uh, Melly, if you're watching, let us know if you remember what it's called. Or if someone else has made this card, maybe you remember what it's called. It does fold flat so that it fits into a regular envelope. So the finished size here when it's flat is four and a quarter by five and a half. On the back, there is a panel um, to add another um, element and you can write on the sides here. If I had a star for every time you brightened my day, I'd have an entire galaxy. Oh, love that. And such great colors on this, right? Berry Burst, Calypso Coral again, um, some crushed curry, pumpkin pie. Um, oh, I just love everything about it. And the holographic paper, of course, as well beautiful 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 thank you so much Melly. our next one with the stargazing suite comes from margaret burkett and um she cased this one. Oh my gosh let me see um this is something she said she saw from jackie bullheis and she cased the card and made it slightly different i'm gonna kind of pause here so if you want to take a screenshot you can the, the base is five and a half by four and a quarter, and the center piece is 11 and a half by three inches. So it's one piece of designer paper that attaches to the back of the top and then to the front of the bottom, if that makes sense. She scored it at one and a half and six and a quarter, and, um, and then 
Oh, a glow in the dark gems. How fun is that? And did you notice our astronaut is on a wobbly? <laughs> so fun. Look at that embossing folder. It is like metallic blue on some shimmery paper. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love every single detail on this card. You have outdone yourself. So beautiful. I have a similar tutorial. It's not quite the same measurements, but it has sort of that extended card. So if you're looking to see um, how to do that, I think I've got it linked up in the video description right now. Um, this one is just so gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And thank you so much for, um, <laughs> for sharing such a special card with us. Margaret, I said Anne. I'm sorry, Mar Margaret. The other card was... Oh, I'm just losing my mind. Beautiful card, Margaret. Thank you so much for sharing this one. It makes me so happy. I gotta get this sweet out again um, and use it. Our next set of cards uh, use the word big because that was the theme. And so I just thought it was so perfect that they just went right for the word big. And we got the big word big. This one makes me smile so much. It's from Marie Ferrito and she's using a black glossy cardstock here with this fun designer paper. Gosh, I miss this paper. Birthday Bonanza was the name of the paper and it had a cute like toucan and a koala um, and a lion. It had a coordinating stamp set as well. That was just so much fun. Um, the stamp sets that Marie used well set and hooray for surprise along with the large letter framelits um, and I just think the big black glossy cardstock with all the colorful um, designer paper showing through is just so much fun hope your day or hope your birthday is wonderful I think that's just so fun uh, mango melody is the uh, the light orange color that is retired now so pretty though um, what a great card. I love that, Marie. Thank you so much for sending that one. Here's another one with a big word. Kathy Cornea said she was kind of stumped by this theme until she came across the new Memories and War cards in the, um, the spring mini catalog, January through April. She combined it with some Lost Lagoon designer paper, a little bit of ribbon here, and some little pearls. Dream big. I love that. Who would you send this card to? I would totally send it to my daughter, Claire, who's away at college. Um, um, and just send a little fun note in there. Um, I always love encouraging her big dreams and all, all my kids, all my, all my girls, all my kids, even Thomas too, encouraging them to dream big, think big, and just go after it. Our next card is from Alberta Futch and she used the word big, sending big hugs. I love this little double Z fold card here. Um, this one's kind of cute and smaller than other ones I've seen. This designer paper was a fun one in a catalog too years ago I think the sending hugs and the um the frame are from the heartfelt hexagon stamp set that punch unfortunately is not available until April maybe um March or March or April it's coming back though but you can still get the stamp set right now um and it's got such a such a fun stamp set 3d basics embossing folder for that crosshatch one of my favorites to a friend that makes me smile sending big hugs what a great card. I love that. Our next one. Oh, so cute from Joanne Prosser. Uh, the fluffiest friends bundle. That's where that cute little bear comes from. And the little hamster and the bird and the bunny. Those are all from the fluffiest friends bundle. An online exclusive that came out in November. It's still available right now. So you can get it in the online store. As well as the deckled circles. And the, the sort of hive shape. Um, the dome comes with the, the um, fluffiest friends bundle. The designer paper here is the softly stippled. It is one of the celebration options that you can choose for free with a $50 order during celebration. And of course, Calypso Coral on the background. I love that. So beautiful. I love those cute little critters. Um, thank you, Joanne, for sending that one. Do you remember this paper? Oh, gosh, I just love this with the cute little whale. This is from um, Melu Cartwright, and she um, used the Tahitian Tide um, card base color. Well, whale done, and the whale of a time designer paper. This is so fun. We got a window here to open up, and then it folds out like this. I have made a card like this, so I'll 
try to remember to put that in the video description if you'd like to check it out and get the measurements to make it at home. So fun, just a regular card base with the window punched out and then the little accordion on the inside. This designer paper was one of my favorite. I'm so sad that it is gone. Uh, it's been a couple of years now, but I think the whale punch, isn't that still in the catalog? Um, maybe not. Oh, I can't tell if it's on my shelf or not. So cute. Our last big word, sending big hugs. This one is from Penny Stanislavski, and she included an extra piece of the designer paper so you can decorate your envelope when you share this card with someone that you love. You are loved beyond measure. Sending big hugs. Oh, I love the colors here. We've got some starry sky, a retiring in color coming up. Looks like some parakeet party on this gorgeous designer paper with some sweet sor sorbet and flirty flamingo. Oh, these colors are just awesome. <laughs> I love that so much, Penny. What a beautiful card. Um, the colors are truly inspiring. Our next set of cards all are love cards, more or less. Oops, the first one <laughs> comes from Debbie Bustle. Um, and she has a fun little note in here as well as what is now coming out, the confetti. Um, she said she had to do a simple Valentine card class for a group of kids at church. And as she was going through her stash of Valentine's things, she found the big heart and the XOXO. And um, so even though she says it's past Valentine's Day, um, you can either send it uh, and share a message of love throughout the year or save it for next year. Uh, I thought that was just so fun. So we got some confetti that you can put into your card um, there. So cute. And yes, it does fit because it's big, right? Our big XOXO hugs and kisses. Um, and the, the wink is Stella on those die kits are so fun. Love it. Love you. We've had so many heart punches over the years, haven't we? It looks like two different um, heart punch packs there. Um, such a great card. And I love that you shared it. Even though, Debbie, it's after Valentine's Day, that's okay. We can share and spread our love all year round to our family and friends. Our next card from Jane Ply has some hearts designer paper, but this is for any time of year as well. Together is the perfect place to be. These little bird, I don't know what to call them, like stickers? They're kind of um, embellishments, I will call them, are like stained glass. They're so pretty, glossy with the little foil um, edges. So beautiful. I would totally send this for um, an anniversary card. Cherish the memories you are living now. I love that. Silhouette Scenes is where the sentiment came from. The paper is the country floral. Um, let's see. Oh, the heart and stickers from Hobby Lobby and the card base from Hobby Lobby as well. So fun. Speaking of anniversaries, we have a big celebration this April. My parents are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary and they're having a big party. So I got anniversaries on the brain. Uh, I think they would absolutely love a card with those cute little birds on them. So beautiful. Uh, the next two cards use a big greeting from the Softly Said stamp set. I just love that stamp set. It's another online exclusive. Just came out in November. Um, and so even though there are lots of hearts on these cards, I think these are totally appropriate for any time of year that you want to share your love with someone and tell them you love them. Uh, Sweet Talk is the designer paper that Wendy used on this card. Oh, I love that little scrolly heart on the inside too. You are loved indeed. Uh, Real Red and some Blushing Bride. I miss that pink color. This one is petal pink. Can you tell the difference there? This one is definitely more... Um, has a little blue in it. Uh, petal pink uh, for this one. This is from Marsha Bolt and she used the nested essential dies. <laughs> the same dies that Katie used. I remember this time. Um, the bumpy embossing folder is part of the 3D um, basics embossing folders from the online exclusive. And then we got some heart, um, self adhesive hearts in there. The dotted frame is from um, ba, 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 everyday details. That's right. New, um, new embossing, not a new bundle, new die set in the, um, uh, January through, uh, April mini catalog. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing some of your comments. I know these cards are so fantastic. You guys really knocked it out of the park. Uh, we haven't shared the really big cards yet. Let's get into these. These two cards come from Myrna Hernandez and she said that she 
was inspired by Patty Bennett to create this trifold card using the Playing in the Rain suite and the Good Feelings stamp set. Aren't these cards awesome? Oh my gosh, I get to pick one and I'm not even sure how to go about choosing. Um, so you guys let me know this or that, which of these two would you keep? Now fold it up, this would fit into a, a standard letter size envelope. Um, and so it is officially, I believe, a slimline card in its finished um, in its finished fold there. The scenting sunshine and good feelings your way is that's from the good feelings stamp set. Aren't they great? This or that, I'm seeing you guys are pretty split. Joe and Alita say that and Gloria says that, Fonda says that. Um, maybe you're not so split. I'm seeing a lot of that. I think it's just because you guys like the sunny, um, sunny flowers, sunny days. I'm ready for some sunny days. We've had some beautiful weather. I cannot complain. Um, but I think we're going to get some rain. So it's going to be like this. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. I know you can't go wrong. They're, they're both so great. Thank you so much, Myrna, for sending an extra one for me. That's so awesome. Um, another big card, this slimline card comes from Alita Williams, and she used the pretty peacock with the rainbow of happiness designer paper. You make this world a better place. This card is so fun because it's got two sides. It kind of has a Z fold and folds out here, sending you a rainbow of happiness but also a little peek on the back and we've got a pot of gold back there. How fun is that? The designer paper or the, um, the rainbow is cut from the, um, the card stock. And so the, the card stock pieces then were put back here onto the designer paper. I think that's such a fun way to reuse that. Nice job, Alita. And what a special card. I think that's just so much fun. Uh, another big card. I'm going to, we're just going to keep going until we get to the most giant card. <laughs> this big card. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one's from Tracy Bazemore and, um, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 A custom envelope here. And she, she sent me another envelope to send this envelope in. Um, she says, let's see here. Um, she said, when you said the thing was big, I couldn't wait to send one of these cards out for everyone to see. I was inspired by Stampin' with a Heart, Amy Kindler Designs. Her feature video was aired on YouTube November 20th, 2020. Um, oh my goodness gracious. This pops out in every possible way. Um, oh my gosh. I like, I, <laughs> I don't even know. Am I getting it all? Um, so it, it creates this, this giant pop out here. And then I kind of feel like the greeting could be tucked a little bit to pop that out even more. And then these come down. Can you, can you even see? I don't think I can do this card justice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know, Diane. Incredible. Incredible. I should have ended with these big cards. I still have our curly girls and Kara. Um, and your cards are also amazing. But these big cards are, they take big to a whole nother level. I don't want to crush this. Oh, no. Hold on. I got to get it down just right. This designer paper, um, oh, what was it called? With the birds. It was so beautiful. I loved this paper. Um, do you guys remember the birds? I don't incredible so incredible Sharon I thought of you when I saw it honestly <laughs> I thought this is this is a Sharon card okay so what do we say Stampin with a heart Amy Kindler designs uh November 20th 2020 if you want to look if you want to look this up this is truly incredible Tracy thank you so so much um for sharing this amazing card with us I don't feel like I just can't do it justice. <laughs> it's so awesome. All right. Free as a bird. Yes, Sue. Thank you. That designer paper, free as a bird. So all these, all, most of these, I think maybe some of these are stamped, but a lot of these little birds are from that free as a bird um, designer paper. Just so, so gorgeous. Okay. That's the challenge of making a giant card is having to fashion a giant envelope, right? <laughs> All right, are you ready? That was a big card. That was pretty big. Um, I'm gonna stick this note back inside. But 
Guys, we have a card that's even bigger. And will it even fit on camera? Ah, look at this. It is literally 12 by 12. This card comes from Kathy Perrin. And um, <laughs> it is amazing. Do you, do you recognize what this is? It is a never ending card. And let's see here. Um, Kathy says that she was inspired by Karen Titus, her video from March 22nd, 2023. Um, she shared this large never ending card and I think I gave the wrong, um, measurements. I, I made a note about measurements, but I'll change it in the video description. So this appears to be a six by 12 inch piece of paper scored at three inches from either side. And so essentially you're going to do that um, four times. So this is a six by 12 piece scored at three inches from both ends. This is a six by 12 piece scored at three from both ends. Then we flip it over and we've got another six by 12, six by 12. So there are four all together and you glue them together in the corners. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I have a video in, in my, um, in my video archive that shows the never ending card, not quite this big, but you can just adjust the measurements and create a card this big. Are you ready to open the never ending card? <laughs> All right, so much love, so beautiful. By the way, this is the delightfully eclectic designer paper that you can get for free during celebration. I know, Diane, right? Ah, so amazing. Here we go. We're going to open this way and open this way. And on the inside, we have the sending uh, sending love and lots of stamped here. A little love from me to you with a cute little mailbox. And then if you open this up, there is um, a little note in here, a little note to say, I miss you. So cute, I love that little envelope. Okay, and then we're gonna keep opening. So then we take it in the middle and we flip both of them together. This is still the delightfully eclectic designer paper. A little love from me to you. You are loved beyond measure. This is perennial postage, perennial postage. Friends like you mean more every year. I think that is from the layering leaves. It says it right here. I'm guessing, but I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> then we open it again. <laughs> Oh, and on the outside here, or not the outside, the back side, we've got the um, bouquet of love stamp set. Is that sending love for you? Maybe that's what the oval set is. I didn't get that one. Um, and more of the delightfully eclectic designer paper. And then we go back to the beginning. So I'm going to open it again a little faster. This is the never ending card, which means like you can just keep going and just keep opening it and it will never stop. <laughs> so I have to sing this. I have to sing the song. It's the card that never ends. Oh, it goes on and on, my friend. <laughs> Cabby, this card is so incredible. And I think for sure you get the prize for the biggest card that I have ever seen in my whole life. And it's a fun fold card. Well done, indeed. <laughs> I think she does need a prize. Gabby, thank you so much for sending in this amazing card and sharing with us. It is truly incredible. Um, I will adjust the video description to have the correct measurements for the card pieces. Um, and then you can create a giant card like this at home, the never, never ending card. I'm gonna tuck this inside here so I don't lose it. Okay, well, we're almost done and I should have done all the big cards last and I saved the Curly Girls and Cara for last, but they have an amazing card too. This is the corner, um, quarter fold or quarter squash card and this is so much fun. I have made a card like this. I've got the link in the video tutorial so you can check it out. Our Curly Girls and Cara are all family members that get together and stamp and they create, I say get together and stamp, but they live states apart from each other. So when they get together and 
stamp. They're getting together virtually and stamping together. And I just love that. Um, so I'm going to go through all the cards and show you our corner squash card. The first one is from Carol Rossman. Um, and so you can kind of see here the designer paper and how to fold it. So it starts with a piece of designer paper that is scored. And then you've got the, um, the corner. And so it kind of folds up and squashes down flat. So there's sort of the, the basic mechanics of that corner fold card. Here's one from um, Becca Fisher. And this one uses the Zoo Crew designer paper. I love these colors, Pool Party, Lemon Lime Twist, some uh, Petal Pink, all these colors come from that designer paper. And then this one has a card on the inside that then folds up. Oh, these colors are so great together. I just love them. Life is better when you're crafting. Indeed. I love the tiled hexagons and the designer paper images in the background. So cute. The next one is from Diane Gorski and she's using the Sunny Days designer paper. This one is one that you can get for free during celebration. It coordinates with the Bright Skies bundle, which she has used for the images. So we open up our corner. Oh, look at this! And then I'm going to move the tissue paper, protecting um, protecting all the glue. So you can see we've got die-cut clouds. We've got um, glitter um, embossed um, and die-cut uh, raindrops. And the, the storm clouds, brighter skies are on their way. And on the inside, sprinkled with love. Oh, my gosh. So big. Oh, and I got to get my money out. That is for me. Uh, she says the corner open fun fold was inspired by Susan Campfield. Um, and I love Becca's idea to add another card inside. So fantastic. Um, I love it. Oh, and they all had new stamps made for the back of the cards. Let's put our, um, let's put our, um, tissue paper back and take a look at those new stamps for the back. Oh, those are so great. I love that. Becca had one too. Yes. Oh, <laughs> is this a count? Becca, are you counting all the cards you've made this year? What a great idea. Do we have goals about how many cards we're making in 2024? I love that. The idea of having a, a card goal. You, I'm sure you guys have like uh, other goals for how many books you're going to read or how many miles you're going to run or something like that. So we should do that for our um, card making, right? Our next card is from Donna Johnson. She used that gorgeous flight and airy designer paper and the new stamp set. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. The big bird is from, what is it called? Sentimental inspirational sketches um and oh look at that on the inside that stitched greenery die for the front of the card and then opened up with a deckled rectangle um on the inside this paper oh my gosh if you do not have that flight and airy designer paper yet you need to get some before celebration ends <laughs> and our last curly girl is from well I guess Kara's <laughs> Kara's not curly, but she gets to be with the curly girls. Kara Johnson used the Let's Go Fishing um, designer paper from the annual catalog to create this card. I love that hexagon. Oh, and some cut out fish and the wild week card. Happy birthday. That deckled rectangle on the inside. So perfect. And the little fish there too. What a great card. You guys all did such a wonderful job. I love that fishing line, linen thread. Oh, so creative. I love how you guys always do the same design, but they look so different with the different stamp sets that you use. Thank you to our Curly Girls and Cara and to all of our swappers tonight who created some pretty amazing cards to share with us. You guys are all so amazing. If you would like to participate in the Great Big Card Swap, you can send your cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. Our theme for March is something old, something new. So I invite you to use your oldest stamp set or your new stamp set or combine them both on the same project. I can't wait to see what you create. If you want to stamp ahead for April, the theme is three. Rule of three or rule of thirds. Three's a charm. Third time's a charm. Three's company. Whatever you want to say. Do, do something in 
uh, in threes, three circles, three, um, three flowers, three whales, three ladybugs. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun to see um, what you guys come up with. Thank you so much to everyone watching tonight. If you enjoyed all the amazing card swaps, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future card making videos, including the great big card swap happening on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. If you missed part one and the over 60 cards that I shared in that video, be sure to check out the link in the video description so you can see what big cards you missed. Thank you again to all of our swappers tonight and to everybody watching live. I'm so glad that I was able to share with you tonight. I look forward to stamping with you again on Thursday. Well, let me give you a little sneak peek of what's coming up. Let me scoop these out of the way. On Thursday, we're going to do a free card class with the Jungle Pals um stamp set it's a celebration one so on the last day of celebration we're going to be making three not three five cards it's going to be a big video we're going to make five cards using the jungle pals stamp set and i have card kits available if you're interested in making these cards i'm going to have that available starting on thursday as well as the pdf if you just want pictures and all the measurements and details speaking of card kits this morning i launched the um be mine card kit and um, <laughs> there were no orders until this afternoon. I think it was Catherine and she sent me a message and she said, um, hey, what's going on with this? Did you sell out already? And I said, you know what? I haven't gotten any orders. There was something wrong with the button on the blog. So if you were looking for that card kit, it's fixed now. You can go over to juliedavison.com or juliedavison.com slash kits and you can find the button to get this Be Mine kit. It's available right now. I'm also working on the PDF and we'll have that in my Etsy shop either today or tomorrow. Um, and when you buy the PDF and the Etsy shop for these um, card tutorials that are going to be every single month, we're going to do um, the PDF for that. It will include, the PDF purchase will include the back pocket card layout sent to you in the mail. Um, so if you're interested in that option, that is coming coming soon to my Etsy shop and we'll do that every month. So the, the plan is on the last Tuesday of every month, we will have a new project kit available for sale. So this was the January kit that's available right now in February to purchase. And the February kit is available right now to earn. When you order $40 or more in my online store, you can earn the Nature Sweetness card kit. And if you don't order now, you might have a chance to get this card kit, whatever I have left. Uh, and the last Tuesday of March, this will be available. Um, so I'm excited about this new plan for card kits in 2024. And I hope that you are as well. So you can buy this one now. You can earn this one for free right now when you shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Check out the host code in the video description um, and all the links to the tutorials that I referenced tonight will be there as well. All right, guys, that's it for me tonight. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.